It's time. The new mini catalog is here. And we are going to walk through it together. Now, there is a little glare over here on the left side. So I'm going to put something in this corner. And I did have to come back on. So sorry for those of you that came on to my live stream a little while ago. I got cut off. That's just how it, how the cookie crumbles. Okay, we'll put that there. That's cute, right? All right, so let's see. You want to go shopping while I'm showing you things? This is live. You can purchase anything I'm showing you. I'm so glad that I'm able to walk through this. My name's Kimberly Smith. I'm the paper chef. Here's my website. It's also linked in the description of this video. And we're going to walk through this catalog page by page. I'm going to show you samples. I'll show you all the paper I have. I'm going to show you what you'll get in your designer series paper share. And all kinds of fun stuff. Yesterday, I went through the celebration brochure. So if you missed it, I talked about the celebration club I'm having. And showed you all kinds of free stuff. So you, that you can earn when you spend $50. So definitely check out that video as well. All right, so just fun pictures at the beginning. Let's move this up a bit. Let's get this all going. I'm using the new Glass Mat Studio that you can earn for free when you join Stampin' Up. So that's pretty cool. I showed you how that worked yesterday during the celebration walkthrough. Here is our CEO. Sarah Douglas with her message. So now, if you are new to my world, then you can, if you're in the U.S., there's a, there's a link here, paperchef.stampinup.net. You can request a catalog. Now, don't be one of those people, you know what I'm talking about, that, that you like to collect catalogs from different people. No, please only request a catalog if you don't already have one. Because Stampin' Up! demonstrators do have to pay for these catalogs, and we have to pay for the mailing. It is the most expensive thing I do in marketing my business, is sending out catalogs, which I'd love to do, but just request one if you don't already have one. Okay, not if you, not just because you're collecting them and you like to like snip, 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 make little scrapbooks and have and save them. And if you do like old catalogs, ask me for those too. I have all kinds of old catalogs I can give you. I'm no longer saving those because I keep them in a digital format. All right, here we go. Be Mind Suite. I'm on page eight, the Be Mind Suite. So what I'm doing is I took out the paper. This is all new paper. And I wanted to just show you as I get to the different things what this looks like. And you can see what we, we started to make something with Be Mind using the fluffiest friends. So this month's workshop series is fluffiest friends. And I used this stamp set that's an online exclusive. Boy, this is hard to open. And I used, because this Fluffiest Friends stamp set didn't have any sentiments with it. I'm using, so this is an online exclusive item that you can get now. All right, and then this is what we used. We used the Happy Valentine's Day from this Be Mine, Be My Valentine stamp. Happy Valentine's Day on this card. So you can also see this cute paper in use. Okay. I have a couple other samples in just a moment, but I really like to show you the paper big and not how it's gonna appear in this until later I'll show you how it appears or how it will look in the designer series paper share because it gets cut down. All right, here we go. Daffodil Delight, Petal Pink. These are the colors that I'm showing you. You can see all the colors in here, Lemon Lime Twist, Pool Party, Basic black and sweet sorbet. Isn't this just adorable paper? You can see the little trails of the bees. Buzz, 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 buzz. The little honey jars. And you can think of how cute that goes with the bears. So not just for Valentine's Day, but for lots of fun crafts. Our 12 by 12 paper is double-sided. So not all of it's 12 by 12, but if you do get 12 by 12 paper, you're going to get 12 sheets in a pack. Now, if you get six by six paper, you're going to still get the same amount of paper. It'll just be that you'll get 48 sheets. So I wanted to show you this full so you can really get an appreciation for the paper. And now if you'd like to get this paper and you'd like to sample it, you can get it 
cut up in six by six for the designer series paper share. So Be My Valentine has a little bee punch. I couldn't pull everything out at the moment, but I just want to show you this. I made with it. I used the little hexagon from here. I used the Be Mine designer series paper. I used the bee punch. I punched out a piece of Daffodil Delight. And I used these cute little embellishments. Here they are. They are called adhesive back, adhesive backed hearts and flowers. Okay, and then here's the box. That's this little box right here. And that's, this is part of my deluxe paper share. So I'll show you that later. And we're gonna move on and show you the stamp set in better detail right here on page 10. So that is the Be Mine collection. If you get the collection, you can use one product number to get the collection. You can use this number over here. It'll tell you the sweet collection. For $75, you'll get the stamps, the punch, the ribbon, the boxes, and the designer series paper and embellishments. You'll get one of everything. So that's an easy way to shop if you want to get the whole suite. This is the box inked up. And the punch is called a Bee Builder Punch. All right, thumbs up if you like this product. So let's get some interaction on this video. I see 23 of you are watching. Hello, Phil. Happy Friday. Hello, Denise. Sorry about my first live stream. It got cut off and I had to restart my router and re empty out things from my phone. <laughs> Do all kinds of stuff, but I'm back. Hello, Melissa. Thank you guys for coming twice. I saw some of you were here earlier. Hello, Melissa from Texas. Bemos from Texas. Okay, this is called the Sending Love Bundle. What I love about this bundle, and although I haven't got it yet, because I do love it, I want to get anything that has happy mail. I mean, this is what I do. My whole slogan is, my whole logo, on my logo it says sending love. So my whole thing is all about happy mail and love. So I do eventually probably want to get this, and I, I think I would get the entire suite just because of this envelope. Now, it's not that I can't make many envelopes. I, I teach you how to make them yourself with the scan and cut. But there's nothing as cute as just using up all your little scraps of cute paper with the die and making a cute envelope. So there's the little envelope die. Let me zoom in and show you that envelope die. That would be the reason to get this entire bundle. Sending love. In fact, maybe we'll make that as one of the votes. I let my, I let my card on blue vote on the next stamp set for next month's club. We don't base the stamp set for the card on blue on a bundle, but we do base it on a stamp set. So I might see if they want to vote on that. I will see what the vote is. Now that everybody has a catalog, we can vote. Okay, so this is called the Heartfelt Hexagon Bundle, the next page 12. And it's, I've, I've used this before. I've actually already given away this stamp set in particular as part of a prize I was giving out. But there's a free celebration stamp set that goes with this. And I really love the punch. I did keep my punch. So just keep in mind, here are some of the free things you can earn for celebration, and this heartfelt hellos is something that goes with this heartfelt hexagon punch. So that just keep that in mind. Okay, hooray for surprises. Look at this fun font and this fun graphics. And these catalogs are all about the inspiration you get from looking at these samples. We can replicate these samples too. As demonstrators, we get all these measurements and we can do these, like replicate all of these projects, which is really fun. All right. So where were we? We said hello to our friends from Texas. All right. You guys are seeing if anyone's near each other. Hello. B Pri is near me. Dawn is there. Lara is here. Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Lynn, I think you're going to like the Just Kidding paper and want to keep it. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Denise from South Dakota. Renee from Southeast Texas. All right, let's keep going. This paper here is gorgeous. It is called Forever Love. I'm gonna open that one up. Look at the foiling on this paper. Our specialty paper comes in different sizes, but this, this time the specialty paper is coming in the 12 by 12. And the coordinating colors, of course, are pretty peacock, which you can see here on this Forever Love paper. And you can see the petal pink. There's another piece of pretty peacock. Gorgeous foiling. 
Another piece of petal pink. Another piece of pretty peacock. And even on the back is pretty peacock. I think this, this color really dominates this paper. Okay, and then we have our moody mauve. This is really nice, moody mauve. I mean, this piece is really nice. I actually like the pretty peacock side much better. And very vanilla. So we get to use our very vanilla paper and gold foil. So there you have it. That is the Forever Love paper. All right, I have a couple more things to show you from the suite. Such as the cards and gold foiled cards and envelopes. I have that. I think that's all I have from the suite because I didn't get the suite. I didn't get the whole suite. It's very pretty here. Let's let you look at that while I'm showing you these envelopes because I want to just move along. You can see a close up here of Lifetime of Love right? Lifetime of love. So what you do is you see it over here, small, but then you go to the next page and you can see how big the stamp set is. So this is the beautiful, these are the beautiful cards and envelopes that go with that. Okay, look at those. Really beautiful. And they're, they're called gold foiled flowers cards and envelopes all right so she's saying she made a cow card kathy said she made a cow card with the boho blue and moody mauve <laughs> don't send me the moody mauve <laughs> send me the send me the boho blue all right the reason kathy's joking is because this is my least favorite color in the whole catalog like in in the whole like all time of all colors stampin ups ever had <laughs> but it's not Maybe actually, I don't know if while we would be maybe even lower on the list, but this is this is really pretty paper though. I actually really like this paper. I would I would even think of using it for card club, but it totally might not go with like the whimsical kind of stamp sets we usually craft with. All right, keep keep going. And now we are on this page. Delicate forest bundle. You can see this beautiful tree. This reminds me of that silhouette one that we had before. Yeah, I know, Melissa, that's what that's why a lot of people love this color. They gave me the free ink when I was on the tour of the factory and the, t the ink was selling like hotcakes. So I guess they're making a lot of that ink. It is a very popular color. It just It's just how colors make someone feel. So anyway, Delicate Forest, let's keep going. We have, uh, this is a new brayer. And if you don't already have a brayer for stamping, it's really great for layering your different elements. And this is a, a hybrid embossing folder that I have not actually played with yet. I meant to play with it, and I have not. I have not had the chance. I was away. What is this one? Thoughtful Moments Dies. Thoughtful Moments Dies. Is that part of this? Yes, this is part of this. Okay, here are the dies. So you, the dies are in there, and then you... The hybrid... See how the hybrid embossing folder... It, the embossing folder, it gets inked up with the brayer. And then you're going to cut out the sentiments with the die, all while you're embossing. So you ink up, you ink up your embossing folder, you run the die through. And these are extra little shapes. That's kind of cute. So anyway, no, I haven't, haven't played with it yet. Mini alphabet dies, they're probably on another page. But that's something that's really cool. Okay, hello, Debbie Salinas from another one from Texas. Hello, and thank you for being one of my channel supporters. I appreciate that. You can see she gets a special icon next to her name. Hello, Jean. Nice to see you. Hello, Margo from California. All right, that is the hybrid embossing folder, and you you don't have to have a brayer to use it. You can just turn your ink upside down and, and ink around it. And maybe you have a brayer from, from your brother's Scan and Cut. Like, let me show you what that one looks like. All right. Well, nope. Here it is. Here it is. So you can use, if you have one from Brother, maybe to help your adhesive, like for your adhesive for your papers, you can like use that. But I don't use this one for my ink usually because I have, I already have one of these Stampin' Up! Brayers and I use that one for my ink. But I'm just letting you know. 
But like, you know, use, use what you have, folks. Use what you have. All right, so that's just talking about those. And it's talking about adorning hearts bundle. And it's talking about this one, thoughtful moments, hybrid embossing folder. All right, keep going. I love scene builders. Scene builders are when you use the different pieces of the ink. Like I love the ocean front, especially. And you just use the different pieces and you build a scene. So you can see how you can use the back for the grass and the mountains and then the trees. And look what you can do with this kind of scene builder. Hills of Tuscany. So that's really pretty. Maybe that'll be on your wish list. This one reminds me of another one we had a couple years, like Fern. I forget what the name. This is Wild Fern's Bundle, but I have something that's very similar to this from a few years back, maybe five years ago. And it's very, I love nature and I love all of these like sprigs and different things. So that bundle's nice. Okay, Perennial Lavender. I don't have a full pack to show you, but this is in my, in my Card on Blue card club this month. Everyone's getting Perennial Lavender. So by next week, I'll have enough paper to send out all the, all the kits for Card on Blue, my card club. And I'll be sending you all catalogs too, unless you're already a demonstrator, already on my team. But this is what the paper looks like. But again, it's 12 by 12. So Perennial Lavender has beautiful scenes. And I'm going to show you what we're going to make in this month's Card on Blue Card Club. Using this paper and then using paper from the annual catalog as well. The coordinating colors are Shaded Spruce, Lost Lagoon, Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape, Berry Burst, and Fresh Freesia. That's that lighter purple. So gorgeous Grape. When I was looking at the inventory status report earlier, it was already going low or maybe even out. So I know this, this color cardstock is in hot demand right now because of this perennial lavender suite. I'm, pretty guess, I'm guessing, this is my own guess, that this is the most popular suite in the catalog. Not necessarily for me, but for the, for the catalog. Because I, th I think I've already seen so many projects made with it. it the paper is gorgeous. I absolutely, this is actually my favorite piece of the paper. And I, I, purple used to be my favorite color. And I still, I'm a fan of purple, but it's not my favorite anymore. This would be more. So like, this is what, now this isn't the one we're making in the card club, but we made these on my channel. These are the two we're making in this month's Card on Blue Card Club. So you can join my card club as a subscriber and get the club each month. And this month's, uh, if, you, if you've been in my card club for six months, you're getting the swag bag this month. So this is this month's swag bag. Okay, so you get you get fun stuff besides the card club. You know, swag. And my mom makes the bags for your swag bag. Stamping block. All right, all kinds of fun stuff. I've all started the club about eight months ago, so there's some people joining their six-month anniversary. Every month we make eight cards. You make two of, two of each card. So this is what we're making. And then these two I made on the channel because my husband asked me for some cards. I've already given it to him, but then I doubled them up and I made extras. There was, we made some going away cards for a colleague of his, and she likes gold and purple. So this is what you can do with the perennial lavender. Also in this month's card, card on Blue Card Club, we'll be using the masterfully made designer series paper from the annual catalog and making these two cards. I didn't embellish them yet because I was kind of low on embellishments, and I wanted to make sure I didn't run out. All right, so what else can I show you? I can show you some butterflies. Let's see. Maybe that. Oh, they're right here. They're part of my... There's the butterflies. I can show you these little gems. Purple fine shimmer gems. So they're really pretty. Okay, and we're using the perennial postage stamp set in this month's card club, so I can show you that. It is a cling stamp set. Here are some of the sentiments we'll be using. So that is the perennial lavender suite. And you can see how you can color these butterflies. Right, so we're going to ink them up. See, you can ink them up. I ink these up with Fresh Freesia and Lost Lagoon, totally transforming the paper butterfly accents. 
The only thing that would make those even better is if they, we turned them into stickers. I do have a sticker machine. All right, let's keep going. That's going to be, I hope, like the highlight of your night, seeing that really cool suite. So here's a close-up of the painted lavender bundle, which I've seen my team use in some of their cards already. I didn't get this one. I got this one. So this is called a mega suite. When you see that there's a couple stamp sets in the same suite with paper and all that, it's a mega suite. So this is the one that we're using for our card club. And these postage dies are just amazing because of all the cute little shapes you can make. Here's the dies. I mean, look at these, so useful. And I've already been using the heck out of these. So in the mega suite, I didn't get the whole mega suite, but if you get just this perennial postage bundle over here, 5125, but if you get this entire mega suite, Let's see, the whole entire suite collection, one twenty six fifty. Now compare that to like this one way back here, which we talked about this suite, the, the whole B suite only being like way less, like 75. That's because this suite has a punch and a stamp and one stamp set. This, stamp, this suite has all of these like things in it, right? It has a bundle of dies with this stamp set and a bundle of dies with that stamp set and the paper and the butterfly accents and the gems. Okay, so there's so much going on with the Mega Suite. So if you want to get that, that will earn you, by the way, two celebration items as well. When you do get, when you spend over 100, you're going to get earn two celebration items. And then if you get up to 150, you're also going to get 10% back. So that'll be pretty cool. 10% back in rewards. I talked more about free stuff and rewards yesterday. Hello, Diane. Nice to see you. I see you already got your wish list together. Hello, Christina. Nice to see you. So this Easter lilies, it, whenever we have Easter stamp, Easter featured in our catalog, we usually have a whimsical and then something more religious. So I like that we have a balance. So I'll show you both. So the Easter lilies, like he is risen and it's just beautiful for coloring with the blends. And then over here we have the Easter eggs, egg, excellent eggs, it's called. There's no bunny like you. I like the font on here. And then look at all the cool eggs and then all the little things you can use for the eggs, like the little zigzag and things you could do to decorate your eggs. So I think this will be fun for the whole family. The dies. And what's nice about this, if you look at these little picture in the corner, it's telling you that if you use these dies, they'll fit in the mini machine. So really, they look really big, but they're actually built for the mini machine, the mini stamp and cut and boss machine. So you don't need the giant machine to use those. Okay, and then we have the Everyday Details Bundle. This is so much fun. Loving, loving these. I didn't really notice that this looks a lot like our cup of tea bundle we had that's already retired. That one reminds me of something from before. I wonder if it's the same artist. But look at, look at the beautiful samples when you color these in, how they come to life. And then we have the Blueberry Bunches. I'm loving blue because I we have my card on Blue Club. We make something blue every month. That's kind of fun. All right. Then we have Cake Fancy. What I like about this is you can it's a stepping up layered type of stamp. You don't even have to touch each layer to each other like they did for this cake here. But you can touch each layer to each other. And this just makes for some special effects. And then over here, this picture looks like it's coming from this side of the paper, the flower cart bundle. Wow, a lot going on with this bundle. Look at all the amazing, intricate details on this die, on these dies. The little rolling flower cart and wheels and the tent and everything. Oh, yay! Yay! I love this, guys. This is so nice. All right, I'm excited to show you this, this one. I'm just gonna make a little bit of room on my table. I tend to have a lot of uh, craft lanches, which are like landslides in my craft room when I, when I do these things. 
So I'm just trying to make a little bit of room and trying to get my samples that I pulled out. Oh, maybe I didn't pull out samples for this one. Okay, this is what we're featuring next month. So this month when I'm featuring, when I was talking about my fluffiest friends, this is going to be the suite that we feature in my workshop series for the month of February. I'm opening up the designer series paper. This is called Lighter Than Air Designer Series Paper. The coordinating colors are petal pink. You're going to get 48 sheets of it, so there's going to be a lot of sheets that are the same, right? You can see that. And then you're going to, there's going to be eight sheets that are the same, so I'm just going to show you the back of this, right? The front and the back. So the front is like this. I wish there were more sh sheets with the balloons on them. I think there's only one or two, maybe just one with the balloons on them. That was the only thing that I was thinking I would like to see more balloons on the paper, but I do love this paper. So we already said petal pink, lemon lolly, pool party, balmy blue. Not sure why they did petal pink for the clouds. I would have done balmy blue there, but that's my that's me. Uh, bubble bath and fresh freesia. Super, super cute. I love all the colors. I love all the patterns. Especially love when they have like a lot of colors in the patterns. All right. Nice. Very, very nice. This one looks like a little fishnet. So my second favorite piece would be the stripes. My first favorite piece would be the balloons. But again, I'm not sure why. The only thing I could think of is that maybe the balloons look cool like this with the patterns because you're going to use the dies to cut them out. See how nice they look with that. But we'll, we'll figure out what to do with all of these things. So you get twine. And if you get this whole suite, you get the twine and these really cool. There's the pack of twine. I bought the whole suite. It is called Baker's Twine Three Color Pack. And then these are really nice. I think I included these in this month's card on blue. Rainbow adhesive back dots. There's just so many colors in here. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. My favorite little embellishments because of all the extra colors. Look at how fun these are. All right, let's see if I can find the stamp set. Hmm. I'm looking for it. Here it is, here it is. Stamp set. And it's a photopolymer. And I'm just trying to find the dies because that's what you really want to see. Here we go. Hot air balloon dies. Look how nice these are. Some of them are loose. So these are the little pieces that are loose that you that you can just use the cute pattern papers for. All right. So and this is an awesome little banner. So love loving these dies. Loving the stamps. And again, we'll feature this in February. So let's move along. What's your favorite thing you saw you see so far? Even if you don't know the name of it, Denise, it's and I don't think the camera's blurry. I'm not seeing blurry. But if you don't know the name of something, you can still just say like the balloons or whatever you like. This says hot air balloon bundle, and this is like a closer up, close up of that. And what you do is you make a lot of the shapes of the heart or any any balloons, and then you put them, and then you like you you Fold them, and you can make a little 3D item, which is really fun. That's a fun technique. All right, filled with happiness. This one here, filled with happiness, has a punch, the modern oval punch that goes with this, but it also goes with the celebration item, this one. So if you invest in our products, there's usually more than one purpose for them. So if you do get this filled with happiness bundle, which I do like, right? If you get this, or you just get the stamps at $20 and then you get like the, this punch later, $22. let us see if you can get the bundle. 
It doesn't look like it comes as a bundle with the 20% off. I don't see the bundle pricing. Okay, so you do have to get them separately. But they coordinate together, and then you can also use the punch to coordinate with this watercolor melon. So that just gives you like more, more, perp more things to do with your products and more reasons to get things to coordinate. All right, if you like journaling and memory keeping. Okay, good. I'm glad it's working for you now, Denise. That's good. And Lara's loving the Easter eggs. Jean likes the postage dies. Denise likes the perennial. Yay, I'm glad you guys are playing along. This is for journaling and memory keeping. Look at this really cool thing with the lines on it and how this works. And you can cut this out too for that part. Now on the front of the catalog is this. And I would think that this would be the most popular because it's on the front of their catalog. But that's not what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is the perennial that this suite is becoming the most popular thing. I'm seeing this way more than I'm seeing the ice cream, but I think this will probably be the second most only because of the suggestive selling of being on the front of the catalog. And it is a pretty cool die set because check this out. That this is, it makes like a, a fold. It's a, see, it folds it up. What am I trying to say? What's the word? It scores it for you. It's an ice cream cone and it, it cuts it. And instead of cutting, you could, you could snip it apart yourself. The cone, of course, didn't have cones. But there's already a cone die here. But it actually makes a little card for you. Yeah, it makes a card. Thank you. That's what I was thinking of. It scores it to make a card for you. Now, I don't have this one. Thank you, Cindy, for tucking. It makes a little ice cream cone card. So that's what's really unique about this die set. And I think it's going to be very popular and very nice, and especially for kids and making little gifts, cards, and stuff. Okay, this is a nice mask. So this helps you color in these flowers and do lots of layering. And this is... If you, as long as you use a little piece of painter's tape and line this up nicely, then this technique will get you to something like this, right? So this is more of an avid crafter technique. Here's someone using the mask. Ooh, Cindy bought five bundles from She's in Canada. You go, girl. I don't even think I bought five bundles. Maybe, well, I will eventually. I'm trying to work on just getting the paper I need for you guys for the Designer Series Paper Share. So I had to like... Limit myself to that. So anyway, this is now Nature's Sweetness. I'm going to show you the next paper I have pulled out here for you. And let's see. Another gorgeous specialty paper. Pebbled Path, Pecan Pie, and Gold Foil is the color for this paper. Nice botanicals look. Yeah, you know, isn't it pretty? This is like, this sweet really grows on me. I really like it. I might even put it in the vote for like one of the things we use for our club, but not, of course, the dies because we only work on the uh, stamps for the club, but this is just gorgeous. Okay, let me turn this over so you can see that's this one because it's going to match some of the paper. See that? Look at that. So the dies are going to be able to cut out some of this paper. All right, other side of the paper, pretty plain, just pebbled path, right? And then we have some gold. And then you got some more botanical prints. I love this newsprint with the gold foiling. Along with some vellum, you can make some pretty decent cards, like layered cards with this. And I think someone's going to say, wow, they look so professional because of all this really cool paper. <laughs> Debbie's saying, I spent a ridiculous amount on this catalog. <laughs> I understand. Okay, this is the piece I was showing you. So when I first, when I was cutting up the designer series paper, I was able to do like four by six to give you these panels. There's another piece of paper in the kitten, the just kitten that actually cuts a special way, but I didn't cut that one a special way. But this one, you'll get three of these panels if you get the Designer Shades Paper Share. That's like for like little library envelopes and stuff. Look at that. And then some script. All right, so that's the Nature Sweetness. And this is another one of those mega sweets because this is the part I like. This is the one I'm thinking is Notes of Nature is just really nice. I just love the way it's all vintage and everything like that. 
Okay, Memories and More. Let me get rid of this one and get out the Memories and More cards. Whoops, sorry for that. All right, sorry, I didn't mean to bend the... Move the camera. All right, here's what the Memories and More cards look like. Aren't these fun? I mean, this isn't just fun like as an envelope, but look at how look how fun it is to have this paper. Look how much designer series paper is inside the envelope that you can make projects with. Ooh, so you get some of these in my paper share, in my deluxe paper share. So these are crush or Calypso Coral, Crush Curry, Garden Green, Pecan Pie, and Pretty Peacock. So here are the cards. So these are the Memories and More cards, and I'm going to show you the Memories and More card pack. And because of the way it gets divided up, I was able to give you half of a package of this in your deluxe paper share. In other words, because I can't really split it up any other way, because of these sweet thoughts, Memories and More cards, you need the stickers. Like, let me show you the stickers first, because that's the best part of these. These are absolutely gorgeous stickers. Look at the foiling. And look at the artwork on these stickers. So not just for journaling, but just for fun, just for card making in general. Okay, so everybody would get like, you get a stack, like there's a stack. I'm just gonna show you. In fact, I'm just gonna separate them while I'm doing this. That'll help me to, for my, I can at least get two of my shares done. Okay, so aren't these cute stickers? With the foiling. Okay, and then you have the memories and more cards. And they're two of each and they're double-sided. Okay, I'm going to put these here so you can see both sides of these. Lots of fun. It says, you can do hard things. So these are motivational messages. And nice butterfly there. So memory keeping and card making. I use them for card making, but you can use them for memory keeping. This one, you could just cut it apart and use your different sayings. For different cards and and just different affirmations so that you get some big cards and then here are some small cards let's do these ones okay do what makes your soul happy good things life is wonderful picture perfect oops there let's see what's on the other side of life is wonderful okay some hearts I want to show you the other side of everything. Some newsprint. Okay, flowers. More flowers. They look like some 70s flower child, right? So again, these are called the Sweet Thoughts, Memories and More card package. Moments to remember. Love you forever. I really think that this picture does not do these justice. Look at this picture. Hello. It's like, blah. Come on now. Look how nice these are. <laughs> They're just absolutely gorgeous. And look at the fun colors. I mean, you got bright colors. You could do boxes of sunshine. Look, you got stripes. You can write messages to people. You can hang them all over your craft room for affirmations. Positive affirmations. Get your day going. Just open them up. Pull out a card. Get your day going. The happy life. The world needs more people like you. Dream big. Okay, I'm gonna put this one, I'm gonna put that one on the front of the packages because that's a really pretty one. I love you each and every day. All right, so I started to make my paper shares. I went my deluxe paper share and I didn't finish this part. Okay, so anyway, that is going to be Something that's in there. Let me keep moving on. And we have the Let's Chat. That's a really cute phone. I used to use one of these phones. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's a rotary dial phone. Okay, I see you guys like these. Right, the picture doesn't give you any idea of what's actually in the package. But it's now I showed you. That's what demonstrators are for. We are to help you see what's in the packages. That is what we do. We demonstrate. That is what we do. Okay, planted paradise. 
Oh, this is that Brer again, by the way. And if you don't notice th these over here, these are called background stamps. Okay, so these are Botanical Beauty and Doggone Friendly. Isn't that cute? You can make the little treats, doggy treats and things. Yay! That's really fun. Okay, mini alphabet dies. I have been using those. I did personalize with those. Let me find those dies. I just had them out here a minute ago. You can you can use them like make little stickers and turn these into little stickers. Okay, you're gonna love this die. You're you're not gonna believe how cool this is. Look how easy. Instead of trying to get letters and they go all over the place. So if you just need the alphabet like this, and then there's a couple extra characters for your foreign symbols and things. And then a couple, let's see, do we get numbers? No, just some punctuation. I wonder if they're going to have mini number dies, or maybe we already do, but I don't have them. But isn't that nice how you could cut them all at once? Yay. That's convenient. And then Planted Paradise is a really fun reversible stamp set. So reversible, I'm going to show you. It's like you could take... So the flat side would, do, so the flat side would just do the background, and then the, ins, the other side would do the detail. Isn't that neat? And here's some examples of how it's used. Reversible stamps. Planted Paradise. All right, just kidding. It's my favorite paper. I mean, even I like this paper even better than the than the hot air balloon or lighter than air paper. You are just gonna crack up when you see this paper. The amount of artwork that went into this is amazing. And even though I didn't get the suite, I think we can just make so many fun kid projects or just other projects too, because even the other side is nice with this paper. And sometimes you even have really beautiful artwork on both sides of the paper, which makes it even more fun. So I think this paper is going to make you smile when you see all the cute little ki kids doing all these cute little things, dressed up in whimsical outfits. I know, it's, it's absolutely adorable. So the colors are cool. Calypso Coral. And see, the other side is cute too, right, with the stars. So Calypso Coral, Daffodil Delight, Old Olive, Pool party. Get a load of the fun they're having with the baking. Berry burst and fresh freesia. And there's the other side. It's all fun. I'm just going to actually put this paper in order so I can just cut it when I'm done here. They're fishing, they're playing, they're hula hooping. And look at this. This is the paper. I wasn't sure, like when I when I cut the first stack, I just cut it like this, which is fine because the, at least you'll get this whole scene. Some people get that scene. But then this one, I did end up cutting down the middle of that scene. So you'll get that piece or that piece and you'll get half of this piece, which is fine. Just by the way I cut it, six by six. I just didn't realize that, I mean, look at this. Like the one, oh, not, not that piece. Look at this. The one piece is awesome on the one side, right? This is already awesome. But the other side of the paper is equally as awesome with these backgrounds for scrapbooking and cards. So I just can't believe how cool this paper is. Yeah, it just gets better and better. Like whoever designed it right on because they didn't make any lame pieces. All the pieces are cool and they're, they're all equally as cute. So that one just has like the green, the green stripes on the back. See, that's all old olive, I should say. And another fun one. That'll be cute for Easter with the rabbit. Oh boy, love, love. And it's like every time you pull out another piece, you're like, but wait, there's more. Wouldn't that be cute for Valentine's Day? Isn't that cute just to talk about creativity? And you know, and look, look at this. Do you play Whisper Down the Lane? And the, they're whispering at each other. And then look at that awesome piece 
on the back. All right, so who is loving Just Kidding, Just Kidding, more than you did before? Just by looking at it, with like taking a good look at it. You know, it again, it doesn't really look like it'd be that cute. I mean, it looks cute there, but it looks very busy. But that it's, it's just so fun. <laughs> it's okay, Lynn's saying she doesn't like it. Okay, Lynn, you can send it back <laughs> in your designer series paper share. But like on the back, there's su super cute patterns. I mean, you can always use the back of any kind of paper, right? And then you got little gems and you got this stamp set. You sparkle every day. It's your birthday. You are amazing. So these are fun. Decorate the little boxes with that. Okay, and then this one, the Bright Skies Bundle, goes with the paper that I showed yesterday that's in the celebration brochure. So if you like this Bright Skies Bundle, you can get the free paper when you spend $50 at my Stampin' Up! store. You can earn this paper for free, and look how well that coordinates with this. So be sure to check out the celebration walkthrough from last night at the same time. Ooh, we all craft in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. All right, I'm going to show you my yellow submarine cards if you didn't get to watch it on YouTube. This is my favorite bundle from the catalog, and I put some submarines on a wobble spring. I love how whimsical the whole stamp set is. And I called this an octopus, but it's actually a jellyfish. So thank you for whoever pointed that out to me. <laughs> it's a floating little jellyfish. Jellyfish wearing a snorkel, crab wearing a snorkel, sea star, another fish. You are sublime. I mean, floating by to say hello, sending oceans of love. Let me show you what that punch looks like. Here's the stamp set. There we go. <laughs> so it's called a submarine builder punch, but it, you could actually make a balloon out of this. You could just cut this part off and make a, this into a balloon, right? So it's a really cool little punch. And it has a really, like a lot of animals. And there's little waves. There's just so many stamps in this set. And it's photopolymer, so they do get stained. But I'm liking that one. All right, so that is that submarine bundle. Now, this is the one that I do plan on getting because I absolutely love this. Because it's cute and it's whimsical. Cutest cows bundle. So you can punch out the cow. And then you see how there's different heads different expressions, but you could still use the same punch to punch out the bottom of the cow, and then you can have the different expressions and still use the punch to punch out the head of the cow. So that's going to be cute. And how many, you know, a lot of people love cows. Right? Isn't it cute, Pat? Hello, nice to see you. It is super, it really is. And Denise loves the submarine bundle. All right, rock and roll. Rock and roll. We have a new kit. That co coordinates with this bundle. It's a really easy, family-friendly kit. And so check out the kits collection on our... It's on the, something you find online. But here's the bundle, and then I'll show you the paper. Paper's very simple, black and white paper. I'm thinking you could cut these electric guitars, or these... Actually, not electric, just guitars. Some are electric, I guess. And you can just cut these out with the scan and cut as well, because they... Seem like they have a good outline. I'm not sure about the speckles and how that's going to affect it, though. Okay, so here's the other side of the rock and roll paper. I'm just going to put that there. So this side is just a grunge side. So you have, like, stripes and a grunge side. And then you have little radios, real retro. Hi, Caroline. Thanks for being a channel supporter. Love your little ribbon. Yeah, I know. It isn't it retro. I like I like the fact that I do like the retro look. Of course, I love rock and roll, and I love the retro look. But I also love that you can use the backside for anything. So I think that's just going to make it so easy to craft with. Giving us so many options and textures and things. Okay, another piece. Ooh, fun. And then, of course... 
if you want to add splashes of color, just get your blending brushes and color the paper. Look at this plaster. Looks like it's plastered. Yeah, thank you for saying to hit the like button. She's Jean's saying 30, 32 are watching, and there's only 17 likes, so please hit that like button if you like what you see. And if you're watching, you probably like it, so hey, hit the like button. Doesn't take any time to do it. All right, uh, let's do this. Let's turn this over. So you have this trusty tools. Oh, were we done with the rock and roll? I thought they usually, they usually open up the stamp set next to it. Let's see. Maybe they didn't need to make this bigger because it was self-explanatory. Rockstar bundle. Usually when you turn the page, the, the stamp set's bigger, but it's not. But that's okay. This stamp set here, Trusty Tools Bundle, goes with, coordinates with the celebration, Trusty Tools, designer series paper that you can earn for free. So if you get this suite here, or the not the suite, this bundle, Trusty Tools Bundle, and then you earn some paper, so you spend fifty four seventy five on this bundle, Happy Father's Day, you're the most awesome, thank you, and you get all this cool stuff, you'll get the paper for free. So you'll, you'll get the stamp set, the bundle, and then this is free because it's you spent $50. So I think that's a good way to go if you like this bundle. Okay, pretty cool. And then we have cap and gown. So great if you're making graduation invitations and graduation scrapbooks and graduation cards this year. Super fun. I love this one. Beach day bundle. That's really nice. You got the lifeguard stand. This is like, you got the Baywatch stuff going on. Wishing you a beautiful day. Sending sunshine your way. Yeah, it, no, it does want you, it makes you want to be at the beach, right? It's really beautiful. I love that. And then Cliffs by the Ocean. This would go good with the one we did with the whale watching. They had some, we had some nautical stuff going on. This, these cliffs are really nice. These remind me of the White Cliffs of Dover. So look at the fun coloring they do. And these also remind me of some like tropical islands where you have some like limestone caves that you put the, you go through the middle of a boat. Like there's this one place off of the coast of Bali and we take a boat, Nusa Panita it's called, it's an island. And then there's these places where you can go through these holes with your boat. So that reminds me of that. All right, Poetic Expressions. This paper is pretty. It's just very subtle, though. It's not like super, it's not super lavish paper. Okay, so Catherine, I just teach how to make the cards on my channel, and I give you all the measurements. I don't have time to make PDFs right now, just because I'm very busy with my business. But I do plan on making, I'm working on it, and I have it in my goal list for this year, is to finish my Paper Chef recipe book, my card recipe book, because I have loads of card classes. And I teach them on Udemy, all these card workshops where I go through and it takes me over two hours to show you how to make each card project. And then in those, they get this really detailed workbook. So my, my goal is to take all those workbooks of all that work I've done for those Udemy courses and my card making workshops and make a card recipe book out of all, them all. So that's like on my list for this year. So for now, you just like watch the... So for these like cards I just made, I just on my channel, you just go there and I talked about the measurements there. You know, and then in my, when I do my card on blue workshops on YouTube, on YouTube, I'm going to talk about the measurements when I make these two cards. And then I show you the measurements when I make these two cards. And you take a screenshot and you just put them in your notebook. That's what I do. All my cards are in my notebook right now. But for me to type them up, it would take away from my other aspects of my business because I'm a solopreneur. I'm by myself. I don't have helpers to type up things for me. I do a huge big team. I mean, I have a big team. There's 81 people on my team and they help me in many ways. This is poetic expressions. I mean, they write down people who are in challenges. They help send my happy mail. They help me organize prizes. But it's just like I don't have I don't have them helping me with my tutorials because I'm when I'm creative, I just get creative and I make something and then I go live showing it. Like it's not like I plan way ahead of time to show you things. Sometimes I make the card right before I go live. That's how when I think of I think of something, I make it and I teach it right away. No wait time. I don't sit there and fiddle fart around with all these ideas 
and like overthink it. If I like something, I make it and I show you right away. All right, so the coordinating colors of this paper is wild, wild wheat, mossy meadow, lost lagoon, boho blue, and moody mauve. Isn't this, this is pretty, right? And there's lots of great designs in here. So poetic expressions and bubble bath, um, moody mauve and bubble bath. There's bubble bath there. So this is called poetic expressions. And it reminds me of the stippled, it re kind of reminds me of the softly stippled paper that's in the celebration brochure. All right, now this one should have a bigger stamp set when you turn the page. Here we go. Yeah, when you turn the page, Thoughtful Expressions. Now, what I like about Thoughtful Expressions, if I were to get this bundle, I would get it for the dies. Look at these amazing dies. Not just to cut out the hummingbird and a couple stamps, but look at these amazing dies that just have such cool shapes in them. So that is the Poetic expression Suite. And then you have Quiet Reflection. That's an interesting stamp. And I like how they used it for bookmarks and cards over here and shows you the blending technique using the blending brushes to get this reflection effect. All right, we're on page 64. It's called Stippled Rose Bundle. And that's what I was talking about. The stippled here would go with the celebration, this paper here. This paper here is going to go with that. See, stippled rose bundle. Stip, softly stippled paper. Okay, so just keep, keep that in mind that you can earn free. If you like this bundle, stippled roses, then you can earn this for free when you buy this bundle. All right, inspirational sketches. Ooh, how fun. This reminds me of the botanical. Oh, it is. It does go with the botanical paper. The nature sweetness that we saw earlier. That's really nice. Okay, and then we talk about the machines. I, I mentioned the mini machine earlier. The mini machine, if you see a little picture, sometimes it'll show mini like this. It means that you can use the mini machine to cut it out. You don't need the big machine for the dies. And then in the back here, I'm already done now. I'm done going through the, the main part of the catalog. This part is showing you that when you purchase a bundle from us, you save 10% when you purchase the dies and the stamp set together or the dies and the punch together. And then this is, so this is an index, if you will, of all the bundles that we're selling in this mini catalog. And it's another whole picture of like, it's, it gives you another example for inspiration on what to make with a bundle. It gives you another, a better look at what the dies look like, where you might not get to see the dies very closely earlier in the book. So this is what you want to do is you want to look back here if you're not sure what to get. I, look how nice these everyday details dies are. See, this is one of the ones I missed. Page 28. You know, you, you see, wow, see, here's what I'm talking about. See that? That's cute, but this one I would buy for the dies. Yeah, I like the stamp set, everyday details, but I'd probably buy this, give this as away as a prize, that really cute stamp set, but I really like the dies. See, I didn't really notice I really like the dies until I see it right here in this picture. See, so that's why you want to look back here. All right, keep going. I'm just gonna go so a little slow. I, yeah, this one, Sending Love is just super nice. It has a mailbox that, that shuts as well, which is really nice. You can, you can have a little envelope coming out of the mailbox, that little mini envelope. Oh boy, super cute. And then this one, Again, like that was the one I mentioned I would buy for the dies because the dies are so versatile. Okay, then you have a catalog at a glance. And this is to show you all the new stamps and all the new dies and the embossing folders. Look how nice this one is. Layered florals. We must have skipped that too. Page 65. Something didn't, yep. It's not that it didn't do it justice. I just skipped it. I just didn't notice it. But look how nice that is. Layered florals 3D embossing folder. That would be nice for any card background, even if you just use it on white. So it's good to look here because you get a different look at things. And then this is the paper. So now I'll talk real quickly about my designer series, Paper Share. And if you want to sign up, then the link in, is in the description. Not here. I don't put my offerings right here. 
This is only my store. So if you want to shop right now, and that would be great, support my business, that would be awesome. And get some stuff for yourself and earn free stuff for yourself. That would be awesome. You shop here. You can earn your free stuff. But if you want to just sample things first, you're not sure what you want to get, you're making a wish list, you're thinking about it, and you want to get a designer series paper share to sample all the papers, then this is how I package my designer series paper share. I package them like this with the six by six papers. I cut them up and you'll get a bunch of packages. You'll get Be Mine, Package with Just Kidding. You'll get Poetic Expressions and Rock and Roll. These are my layering circle dies. I don't know what they're doing there. Okay, the Hooray for Surprises bundle is intriguing. What is Hooray for Surprises? Hmm. I, don't, I must have missed that one. Here it is. Oh, yeah. You know what? This is intriguing because it has... It's the one that does that... Let's see. Page 13. It's one of those ones that has an interactive card. Okay, yes. It has little pull tabs. That's pretty cool. That's what's intriguing about it. See? Pull the tab. And you can write pull with right... You can write here, pull, open here, so you can make interactive cards with it. I might get it just because of that. Okay, anyway, back to my paper share. So you're going to be able to sample all these papers. I'm almost done, guys. I'm almost done. Hang in there. Hang in there. All right, so we have these papers are the basic paper share. You'll get Just Kidding, Package with Be Mine, Rock and Roll, Package with Poetic Expression. You will get Lighter Than Air, Practice... Package with perennial lavender. And then what I did is I wanted to make sure you got more paper. So what I did is I took this paper that's an online exclusive. I haven't separated it yet. Well, it's it was here from here it is. You're going to get a sample of this paper in your designer series paper share. It's an online exclusive item. So I'll just kind of flip through it. This is on our website while supplies last. So this is going to be in your paper share. Not all of it, but like 12 sheets of it. Right? And then you're going to get a celebration sampler. So that's the regular paper share. And then I have the specialty papers, this paper and this paper. So you're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, this one, and all the celebration papers in a sampler in your regular share. And then in your specialty share, you're going to get your specialty papers, Nature's Sweetness, Packaged up with the square pillow box and the paper butterfly accents. So that's this is a specialty share. And then you're going to get the Forever Love specialty paper and the gold foil cards and envelopes. You'll get two of these cards and two of those envelopes. And then you're going to get the half a package of the memories and more, the sweet thoughts, memories and more. And you'll get four of these cards, two, two clips of coral and two pretty peacock. So that will be the specialty share. And no extra postage on that. That's just the same postage. I'm not doing an embellishment share. I'm not doing a ribbon share. I've tried to do them in the past. I ended up with, it was, a, it was an inventory nightmare for me. I ended up with like too much of one thing, not enough of another. And it was so much, it was like so hard to keep track of like some things you're able to split up in 10 parts and some things you can only split up in eight parts. And it ended up being a nightmare. So if you want the embellishments, just buy them. Okay. You don't need to, you don't need to sample them. Just buy them. I mean, they're so cute. Why would you not use them? Right. They're, they're embellishments. But if you want to sample the paper, I understand because it's cheaper to get his paper share, including the shipping than it is to go get all those papers yourself. All right. So during, or during any time, whenever you host a party or you have an order that's $150 or more, that's like hosting a party. You start earning rewards. And one thing that you can earn is called carnival treats. And you get it for $14 using your rewards. So if you spend $150, you can get this Carnival Treats stamp set for free. So let me just explain what that means. You could get this for free, but that's on top of difference. This is a host stamp set. And that is different than getting this one, right? This one here. You will also get three of these for free. So if you could spend $150 on anything I just showed you, you're going to get this stamp set for free if you want to use your rewards for that. You're going to have $15 in rewards, and if you want to use $14 to get this free stamp set, you can. And you still get to pick out three of the celebration items, like this, this, that are $50 celebration items. Not the $100 items, but all the $50 items, like these embellishments and this paper and 
this paper and that paper, or this stamp and that paper, right? And this one, not the dies, but you see what I'm saying? So, no, that's a hundred dollar item. So these are, that's the benefit of having, hosting a party or having an order of $150. And if your order gets up to $300, you get 12% rewards. And you also get an extra $30 if you shop during January and February in rewards. An extra $30 in host rewards. So in addition to your 12%, your $26, you're going to get $30 more. You're going to get $66 in rewards when you spend $300. So just kind of keep that in mind if you're budgeting and you're spending your money this month. All right. And then joining Stampin' Up, it talks about the fun starter kit for $99. But the real fun is when you join during Celebration. This catalog, by the way, goes on way longer than Celebration. It goes on, it says January to April catalog. And it actually goes on till April 30th, right? On the back here, it says it. Well, but during January 4th to February 29th, when you join. No, I didn't get it yet, uh, Kathy. I didn't get it yet because they charged us full price. Kathy's asking if I got this hostess set. When we had to pay $24 for it before as demonstrators, even though we get a discount, but now I can get it for 14 So now I definitely plan on getting it. <laughs> I just didn't want to pay $24. All right, so... Now that it's 14, it's like a no-brainer. Of course I'm getting it. What was I saying? Oh, joining, joining, right here. That's the last thing I was going to say. This joining during stamping up, during celebration. You get this glass mat studio. That's this glass mat that I've been using for this demonstration. It's where all my stuff is on there. And you get the silicone tray, which I just carried in. I had just washed it, so I'm not sure where I put that yet. And... The chamois. I put my chamois in a little bowl. So I was washing. The chamois washed off nicely, by the way, in case you're wondering. I put ink all over it yesterday. So that's the little chamois. So that's the glass mat studio that you get for free when you join. For $99, you get free shipping. The $60 glass mat studio and $125 worth of items that you pick out. So there's lots of fun go things going on right now. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of all of the beautiful new products. As you can see, I've started to create with some of them. And I'm loving them. And you get inspired by them. Because having new things is always fun. And then there's always, because Stampin' Up! is so popular. It's such a great company that we always have, there's always an outlet for your stuff. Like everybody always wants your retired things when you're done with them. I just did a big mystery box sale, and every and it was really, really popular. And everybody was, like, going crazy over the retired Stampin' Up! stuff. So you don't have to ever worry about, like, oh, what am I going to do with it? You know, clear it out, make room for more, and then enjoy yourself. Enjoy, enjoy. I'm looking for my little submarine cards. We all craft in a yellow submarine. I don't know where they went. All right, well, that's all for now. This is the Paper Chef. Have a great evening.